evening everyone. Um, today I'm going to tie a small uh, salmon fly. This is going to be uh, a, a fast and very easy way to do uh, to do a nice little uh, a nice little cascade. Cascade is, is a very popular pattern that really really has proven itself time and time again uh, over the past uh, years. I'm going to to the Kola Peninsula to to fish for uh, for salmon uh, this summer. So uh, so this is definitely one of the flies I will have in my box. What I have here is, is I'm going to do this as a tube fly because tube flies are easy, wonderful, and uh, and fishy as well. There's a lot of advantages to tube flies, but uh, uh, as you can see here, what I have what I have mounted is this is just my regular uh, white vice, uh, my Rensetti vice, and I've added a a, a sportsfisher tube needle and then uh, then a future fly tube because uh, for the smaller tubes the 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 future fly system is 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 a nice option. So. Just add a bit of thread here. Uh, this thread is is also the future fly uh, uh, GPS thread, which is uh, without a doubt the the single best uh, uh, best uh, thread I have ever tried. So. Uh, a small cascade fly. We are not going to use that many materials. About five or six different materials. Some uh, some bucktail, some uh, some opossum, two different colors of hackles, uh, some jungle cock if you like it, and then a bit of dubbing, and then a US tube, a small US tube. So it's a fairly simple, fairly simple pattern. Um, um, it's not uh, <laughs> this this the way I'm doing this today is not like the original pattern because uh, uh, this is uh, this is actually uh, kind of like a, a variant of uh, over. Over the theme of, of the original of the original one, um, I've I've made this quite a lot more simple, uh, and I like to I like to keep things uh, as simple as possible. Uh, but but the idea behind this fly is uh, is 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 of course uh, exactly the same. So so I have uh, I have uh, taken out a few of the maybe a bit unnecessary uh, steps that makes this a bit difficult and uh, and just basically cut all the all the bullshit away and uh, and just what you have is, is is the pure idea of the fly lift i hope that is that is at least my intention i'm sorry if 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 i offend anyone who says this is not the right one and stuff like that but uh, first of all i'm going to take some uh, some uh, some bucktail uh, and uh, in the original pattern you have to use both the red and uh, and yellow so what i do is i just take something that is uh, in between red and yellow i take something that is fluorescent orange uh, and uh, fluorescent also have this nice effect some call this the uv effect but it really isn't uv effect it's it's fluorescent effect uh, so so this is a, this is a, a uv responsive material um even though it's it's not more expensive, <laughs> you can get some that is, but, uh, but that's basically I think a bit of a hoax to charge you double for something that is invisible and stuff like that. I've done a whole video on on uh, on UV material and uh, and and what is what on that. Um, if you're interested, you can find it here on my channel. So what I do is I, I make a small tail out of this, uh, like that. I'm gonna cut off all the leftover materials here. The nice thing about these GPS threads is they are so strong you don't need to use a lot of thread uh, to to fasten your materials and uh, and also um, also uh, you can you can really uh, you can pull clamp down on materials to make sure that they are where you want them to be. Then I'm taking some dubbing. Uh, any kind of dubbing is 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 is, is fine as long as it's well matches the the color scheme. So this is orange, but red could easily. Uh, easily have done the job as well. Just gonna make a small bundle of dubbing here. That's actually sufficient. Like so. This is just to basically to cover my tiny thread uh, from from where I tied down the uh, the uh, the bucktail. It has uh, no other function beside that. Just gonna make a weak finish here because we're gonna put a. US tube on here instead of making a body out of uh, out of silver uh, silver tinsel I'm just going to make a body out of uh, out of a US tube this gives a little weight to the fly but also it's it saves a lot of time like this as you can see quite simple quite easy and quite uh, quite good looking is that better hmm I'm experimenting a bit with the lighting and stuff like that in this video, so I'm sorry if I just... Yeah, that actually looks good. Okay, like that. 
and then uh, we're off to the other side of this US tube. When you're doing it this way, you don't need to uh, to uh, apply any glue or anything because the materials will simply hold the, the tube in place uh, like so. And then we're going to need the first hackle. And uh, as I said, we're going to use uh, yellow and, uh, and, uh, and red hackles for this. Um, uh, you can buy them in a, in a, in a bag of, of single feathers, uh, which is, is is pretty okay. But you could also just buy a you could also buy a a, a saddle or or a cape. Um, for these salmon flies, I prefer uh, I definitely prefer the uh, the uh, the hen feathers because hen feathers, as you can see, uh, is is a bit is, is a bit more soft, so so they move a bit more in the water, but also uh, it gives a nice uh, finishing touch uh, to uh, to uh, to the flies. It gives a nice uh, the 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 front heckle nice uh, nice. I don't know, is it, is it called color, color effect? You know, like uh, like the one priests have or or dogs have when they're scratching themselves. Color, is it color or color? I don't know. Um, just gonna tie this down here, like so. And what I was saying about then, um, as you can see, I uh, to to avoid uh, having uh, having too much heckle, I, I stripped off one of the sides and I tied it down with the sides, uh, uh, the, the 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 bright side upwards, and then uh, uh, and then uh, I stripped the the top side because when I turn this, this will this will work. But what I was saying before about tube flies, if you haven't tried tube flies yet. Uh, there is a lot of advantages to tube flies over over normal hook, hooked flies, especially if you're fishing for salmon and sea trout in uh, in uh, in rivers where there is a lot of rocks and stuff like that. Because uh, even uh, even if you are, let's say, uh, uh, one of the best casters around, you will occasionally you cannot avoid this. You will occasionally uh, have your fly strike a rock or something like that in your back cast. Uh, uh, or 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 something like that, and and uh, what is annoying is is if you if you use a single hook or a double hook or a triple hook, if only one of the hooks uh, gets bent or or uh, uh, something like that or or broken in any way, the entire fly has to be discarded, uh, and and that's a bit annoying because you've used a lot of effort, a lot of expensive materials and stuff like that, uh, and and of course a lot of time uh, into into making this fly, and then uh, the hook simply fails you after or maybe it, it rusts or something like that you don't have that problem with the with the tube flies because you simply just replace the hook your fly and all your effort and all your and your tedious work be all your joyful work I should say uh, around the device is is not wasted you simply just take another hook uh, and uh, um, you simply replace the hook, and that is uh, that is a very very big advantage to uh, to tube flies over over hooked flies. Uh, there are others; these swim fantastically, and 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 they're way way easier to uh, to make, as you can see here, because you have all these thingies and gadgets and and stuff like that. You can you can add so so it 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 adds a lot of uh, a lot of uh, fun to your fly tying as well. And of course, uh, you have to buy a shitload of uh, of different kinds of crap that I want to uh, that I want to sell you. But <laughs> hey, consider that a bonus. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, these uh, these. Uh, uh, these tube flies uh, really, really are are nice, and uh, and I tie all my all my salmon and sea trout flies on uh, on tubes now. I've been doing so for for quite a long time. Well, that looks good. So next up, what we're gonna do is is we're gonna take a, a black wing of. Uh, uh, this is uh, this is uh, a material uh, that's called American opossum, something that Future Fly makes, or well, <laughs> they don't make the hair, but they they uh, I don't know if they breed the. Breed the the animals or or what, but but at least it's uh, it's it's a material that they have, and uh, it's very very good because it's a bit more stiff uh, for for the hot current than uh, than uh, polar uh, polar fox or arctic fox, but it's a bit it's a bit more lively than squirrel because the squirrel is nice for many things, but I really really think it's 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 way way too stiff and it's it's not uh, very joyful to work with and stuff like that. So so I'm I'm gonna use this instead. Uh, you can make some. Uh, it, it, uh, th this is the best quality I've ever made. The future fly hair is, is the best, uh, the best quality I've ever seen of, of any any types of hair that they have. But uh, but this is very good. You can uh, it comes in in a package with 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 a whole piece of fur here, and then you can you can simply you can cut your own songer strips. So you can just take a, a small bundle uh, uh, as you need it. 
So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the thread and place it up between my thumb and my po my pointing finger. I don't know what that's called in English. This finger right here. Because then I can pull here and this way I will ensure that everything stays exactly where I want it to be. I'm really, I'm really going to clamp down on this like so. And then I have my black wing, like that. It looks good. Gets the job done. I'm gonna cut off all the all the hairs here because I don't need those anymore. Drop them into my waste basket. Very nice thing to have a waste basket. Like this. Like so. And because the thread is so strong, you can really, really, really clamp down on it and make sure your materials stay uh, where you want them to be. If, uh, if, if you have a bit of trouble with that, what you can do is, is take your sabergap. gap. It has, this, uh, it has this brush that the sabergap gap has. And then you can simply brush a bit of sabergap gap directly onto your tying thread. Of course, without, uh, <laughs> without your hackle getting in, getting in the way. And then... Uh, as you can see now, I've applied some super glue, uh, so this this will this will definitely stay there uh, forever, for hopefully. So I'm gonna take a red hackle again. Use uh, use a hen hen hackle hen hen saddle or or a hen cape, um, whatever you have laying around. Or if you haven't got anything laying around, I know a place you can buy some. <laughs> Um, this I'm gonna take. It's gonna be a bit. This feather uh, here. Uh, I want this to be a bit longer. But again, uh, not to 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 put too much material on this fly here because it's for a low water condition or at least a, a very very clear, very fast little uh, uh, Russian river. Uh, I'm stripping uh, the f the hackles of uh, one of the sides. Oh, I almost forgot something, uh, which <laughs> can happen. I'm gonna add some uh, some flashy boots to this fly. Uh, some uh, some uh, uh, two strands of uh, two strands of uh, of, uh, of of thin pearl or or mirror opal flashable here uh, some crystal flash would also do the job here just like that And I'm making sure that these are not completely even in length, so they will move independently in the water, like so. Cut those off, and then I'm going to take my feather here. The uh, the original uh, the original cascade have um, an additional part of the body that is black, so it has one half uh, silver and one half black. But I'm, I'm not going to mess with the black half because this is uh, well. This is uh, this is easier, and it still has uh, the idea of the fly. The way the fly will will look in the water will be almost identical, uh, I think, uh, without having uh, without having to to mess around making this over over complicated. Uh, and as you will see when we are done here, this this pattern here will look look great uh, without the even without the uh, the original black part of uh, black part of the body like so cut off this hackle here and then basically what you have to do is, is form a small head here like that um, but um, and now this is of course also optional. Uh, I want to add a, a jungle cock to to this fly, but but you can do uh, uh, as as you please. I I I'm not sure if if the jungle cock actually have uh, some uh, some uh, some important uh, important. Uh, uh, if this jungle cock really is important regarding to to how well this fly fishes, but I really really like to have jungle cock on my flies, uh, uh, so so I'm gonna add one. Uh, but but um, uh, of course this is <laughs> this is completely up to to the individual angler. But I really like the the look of a of a jungle cock feather on on the fly, so I'm gonna add one. You know, 
if you're fishing for salmon you gotta be a bit superstitious and uh, and of course I am as well because well let's face it when you're walking down there uh, when you're walking down the same stretch of water you've been fishing for the past four days and you've maybe cast in the same stretch of water let's say about a million trillion trillion times and nothing happens and then all of a sudden a fish do rise and take your fly then well you gotta believe in magic to 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 be able to continue casting and casting and casting on the same stretch of water to catch a salmon it is probably the way of fishing i think that that uh, that spawns the greatest myths and uh, and gives rise to to the to the strangest the strangest form of uh, the strangest forms of uh, of superstition but well basically as you saw what i did was just add a bit of super glue and basically what you see now is is you have here the the finished fly of course i'm going to add a jungle cock on the other side but what you can do now if uh, and and this is a really cool trick uh, that that also only is 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 you are only 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 able to do with uh, with um, with tube flies is if for instance let's say you have a bit a large head here my head is is nice and small i think i should maybe just uh, clean out and cut out the, the last of the red stuff but if you say let's say you have a bit of a big head here and and you feel oh this is not very good so so what you can do is you can take one of these other stuff one of the one of these uh, this is a small cone head and you can add this small cone head to your fly like so and this will give you uh, my thread is a bit in the way but but you can push this back and you can make your fly look a lot more, uh, a lot more, uh, a lot more, a, a lot better because this simply saves uh, the uh, the uh, bit clumsy head. You can cover the the bit clumsy head with uh, with a cone head, and uh, then uh, then your fly will look like a million bucks anyway. Uh, so uh, there is a lot of potential in uh, in the uh, in the uh, in the, uh, in the tube flies, and uh, and for several reasons I prefer them. Uh, always uh, to uh, to uh, to normal double or single hooked flies. Well, um, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this uh, small tutorial. Um, I enjoyed making it. So uh, hopefully I'll catch your salmon on exactly this fly on cola. <laughs>